Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick video about upcoming slash kind of some already current trends that are happening in the beauty world. The reason I'm doing this video is because I want to chat with you guys and hear your guys' opinion on these trends and what you guys think. If you have an opinion on any of the five trends we are going to be talking about today, let me know in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get started. So the biggest new trend in beauty that I'm seeing all over the place hands down is color correcting. Now color correcting is interesting because it's not really anything new. It's been around for a very long time. It's a very simple kind of concept based on the color wheel and what colors cancel each other out. But I feel like in the beauty industry right now there hasn't been anything new like contouring or like strobing. Not that contouring is new but you know what I mean. So they're kind of trying to kind of make color correcting the next big thing and come out with just like tons of products. Like I swear every brand at Sephora is coming out with a color correcting product right now and we've got everything from palettes to like chubby pencils to like little twist up sticks to cushion compacts even like literally everything. It's insane. Now I know I'm like the perfect kind of candidate for color correcting but I've never been able to get into it in the past. So I'm not super excited about this personally. I think for people who are into color correcting, this is going to be awesome because now there's like just so many different options for you to choose from. Who knows though, maybe this whole influx of new color correcting products will make me fall in love with it and I will master the art of color correcting. But for me, I'm just not that into it. Like I like using a corrector under my eyes and like a little bit on my nose recently, but that's kind of the extent of the color correcting that I do. So tying back to something I just mentioned, the next trend is cushion compacts. Now, the only one I have to show is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. So if you're unfamiliar with these, they are a little compact, you get a little puff sponge, and then you open it up and underneath there is a sponge that is saturated with product. Now typically these are foundations or BB creams. Lancome though is just coming out with a color correcting cushion compact. These products are gigantic in Korea. In a recent video I mentioned that they make up, I think, I think it was 40% of the foundation market in Korea. And in North America we adapt a lot of beauty trends from Korea. Korea is very advanced like they're years and years ahead of their time in terms of skincare and beauty so we naturally adapt a lot of their trends and I think it's something we're going to keep seeing. MAC has one now, Physician, Physicians Formula has one, Lancome has one, L'Oreal has one. I think we're going to start seeing even more and more coming up. I think they're really cool though. Those are a trend that I am into. I don't have a ton of them but it's something I'm like open to trying. Next trend is blue on the eyes which is something that I think was in a lot of like the fashion week kind of shows recently and this is is something that I have mixed feelings about because I think personally that blue is the most intimidating color to wear on your eyes like it's the hardest to pull off and it just very easily can come across as clownish and dated it's very tricky I would much rather work with like hot pink eyeshadow than blue because it's just so hard to pull off so I think if you want to go for something blue on the eyes a nice like electric blue graphic kind of cat eye is really nice or like a pop of blue on the lower lash line or like turquoisey kind of shades so this is a trend I'm definitely not loving I definitely think it's not everyday friendly especially for like beginners and makeup because it takes a lot of skill to pull off that color so if you are kind of nervous about it or unsure I'd stick with the kind of techniques that I just mentioned if you want to incorporate this trend into your look. On the flip side of that we have got monochromatic makeup. This is something that I'm so excited that is supposed to be like a projected trend because this is something that I have been into for so long and what I mean by monochromatic makeup is using the same color on your eyes, cheeks, and lips and I kind of did this today. I feel like this can seem really intimidating but it's really not and I'm just a huge fan of the look of this. It's definitely easier to stick with more neutral kind of colors. Today I did kind of like a rose gold kind of like pinky golden kind of look and I feel like it works out really well. It's very complimentary. It's an easy way to create a look that really pieces together nicely and it definitely works best with more natural looks and using tones like bronze and beige and taupe and kind of like pinkier rosier shades. You can even do purple as well if you want something a little bit more fun. I love it though. I'm a big fan. I hope to start seeing it a lot more and finally trend number five is braids in the hair now this has been crazy I know the Kardashians have really kind of inspired this kind of trend but braiding is definitely back and I think that's really cool because I think recently braiding has been kind of viewed as like a little bit childish almost I want to say and just not a very mature look so and I personally really like the look of braids so I'm happy to see this becoming a trend one of the most popular is the kind of middle part and then you do a French or Dutch braid going down either side of your head 
I personally love the look of this. There's also like the pull through braid, which has become really popular. And even just like doing like little braided strands in your hair for a more kind of like hippie chic vibe has been very popular. But I cannot braid to save my life. So I have kind of a love hate relationship with this trend. I can do like a standard like three strand braid and a fishtail braid and that's about it. I have tried to like French or Dutch braid my hair so many times and I just can't do it and it's so sad. So if any of you guys have any like really good like idiot proof tutorials for braiding, like it's like my hands stop working when I try and braid. I'm just like, ah, what am I doing? So yeah, if you have any good recommendations for tutorials or any tips for me, leave them down below. But yeah, that was all of the trends I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you liked this kind of new style of video. Once again, please share your thoughts. If you have any opinions on these trends, share them down below. I will be reading all of your comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and potentially would want to see more videos in this style in the future. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Check me out on Twitter and Instagram, of course, and I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Eraser, Batiste, toothpaste, and cotton pads. You're annoying, you know that? Did you know that you're annoying? Huh?